Eve's barnside chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's barnside chat. You can find us in Campbellville, Ontario. We have rescued chickens, pigs, and cows and goats. We've got plenty more farmed animals, big and small. All for love and love for all. Welcome to Heaves Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Our mission is to inspire kindness and compassion for farmed animals everywhere. You can help us take action by volunteering or through donations or visit our store. And check out our website to learn more. Welcome to Eve's Barnside Chat. We take your questions from the magic rainbow bag. Love lives here, so join us today for Eve's Barnside Chat. Happily Farm Sanctuary. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see everybody. Welcome to Heaps Barnside Chat. My name is Derek Walter, and I am Executive Director and one of the founders here at Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary, located in Campbellville, Ontario. Canada. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you're tuning in from. We are live. Uh, it is just uh, two minutes after one on Monday, January the 30th. Can you believe how fast January has flown by? My goodness, I just am in amazement that we are here at the end of the month already. Uh, it never seems to... Uh, you know, it never ceases to amaze me at how fast time flies here at the sanctuary. Uh, Monday to Monday, it is a pleasure to be here with you. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I can start to see some of the comments are coming in. Uh, hello to Gail from Long Island, New York. Oh, I bet it's as cold in Long Island, New York as it is here at the sanctuary today. Uh, and it is going down... I, the temperatures are getting so flippin' cold. Um, we'll cover that in the uh, Barnside chat uh, weather report, which is coming up very soon. Uh, who else do we have? We got Sandy from Ohio. Hello to Joanne from Michigan. Hello, hello, California. Cindy from California. We've got Sherry from Indiana. Christina. Hello, hello, oops, whoops, whoops, I'm touching all the buttons at the same time. My goodness, anybody from off of the continent? Oh, there we are, there's Wendy from England. Uh, we have folks all, oh, oh, in Montreal, oh, I love Montreal. Hey, Ian, Montreal is so beautiful. If you've never had the chance to visit Montreal, you should absolutely put that on your wish list. And uh, right before going to Montreal, your wish list should include coming to visit the sanctuary. Uh, plans are coming together for this year's calendar of events, if you will, and uh, we're so happy to be including in-person events this year, um, tours, work days, uh, parades, the Pride, Pride Parade in Toronto is back on the docket this year. It's looking like it's going to shape up. We have so many things to talk about today. Let's start with this cutie. 
Uh, here is Gloria. If you didn't hear about Gloria joining the farms family, joining the sanctuary life, this is Gloria, and she is the newest resident here at the farm. And Gloria's story, um, she was running around um, a, a, a city close to us called Cambridge, which is about a half an hour away, and Gloria was... Um, definitely had an ear tag in, um, which let us know that she was from a, a working farm and the person that found her uh, went around to the local working farms around uh, where Gloria was found and uh, none of the farms would claim ownership over Gloria. Uh, quite often when farmed animals leave the farm, if they're leaving a commercial operation, um, they've broken, you know, sort of They've broken control, and um, therefore these animals are worthless. Um, but Gloria is certainly not worthless to us. We're going to give her the best life that we can, and all of the same positivity that you have given all of the residents that live here, I've assured Gloria that you are going to look after her forever. So, welcome home, Gloria. Gloria's doing well. Uh, do you want to go check out Gloria and see what she's up to. She's in the barn behind here. Um, yeah, we should definitely head on in the barn and see what she is up to. She has been, uh, well, you saw the picture of her up on the windowsill. So I bet, I bet with anything that Gloria is still up on that windowsill. Now Gloria is a real jumping bean. Oh, come here, Phil. What are you doing? Look at, look at Phil. Phil, come here. Come and see. Oh, Phil. Phil! Oh, hello. Phil, that's a nice coat. That's a nice coat. Come and show us. Come here. No, you're going to do your own thing. Uh, yeah, it's so cold even Phil's got a coat on today at the farm. I've got my full barn winter gear on um, and uh, yeah it's definitely needed on a day like today. I've got my hands pulled up inside of my sleeves here like a turtle with its head. Okay um, so we've got to handle some questions from the magic rainbow bag. We got to go see Gloria uh, to start us off if you have any questions that you would like answered during today's magic rainbow bag. Um, oh no that's not the right button. There it is. If you have any questions that you'd like answered during today's Magic Rainbow Bag or next week's Magic Rainbow Bag or uh, as many uh, barnside chats as it takes, the questions stay inside of the bag and on the screen and we will make sure that we answer them all. Okay, so if you have a question, put it down below and our kind admin moderator, Christine. Hello, Christine. Christine is the one that keeps her finger on the three second delay rule so that when I tar start talking about how cold it is um i uh she's ready to block out all the explosive that i use the, uh, the poor language that i'll use when i'm describing just how cold it is all right let's head on over to the main barn and let's see what gloria is up to so you can see we got uh, absolutely spanked with snow we got an absolute spanking of snow. There is snow banks as tall as I am. We got about eight inches of snow and then another couple of inches on top. Hello BJ. Hello Escalade. There they are. We could just hang out here for a moment. It's nice to see some of the pigs out. It's nice to see some of the pigs out and about. It's a, it's a sunny day, um, but it is cold for sure. Oh, who is this? Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, Braxton? Huh? What are you doing, baby? Good girl. Oh, we got Tammy. Uh, yeah, so we took on a lot of snow. We haven't had snow like this in a long time, and that was quite a storm. Uh, but thankfully, we have all of the right equipment and the right protocols in place to make sure that the snow gets cleared. Um, we have the new uh, Kubota quad four-wheeler 
machinery uh, with an articulating plow on the front of it. And that sure makes uh, keeping the driveways clear for safety um, a super efficient way of doing it. And uh, thanks to Steve for handling all of the snow removal and making sure that all the paths and everything is safe. Here we are. Oh, hello. Who's coming now? This is Peggy. Hello. Everybody's out eating hay. Hello. Good girl. Um, something to talk about, too, before we go inside is we have the Esther Shares campaign. Um, so Esther Shares is a program that was started and um, we are going to be launching the Esther Shares Medical Fund campaign. Share the love. Help us raise 20 grand. Um, and that's uh, for other farmed animal sanctuaries um, who uh, are experiencing um, a need for uh, medical emergency funds. And the Esther Share program is a program that's very near and dear to my heart. And we'll be talking all about the sanctuaries um, in the coming few weeks uh, during February. Uh, the sanctuaries that Happily Ever Esther Farm Sanctuary Esther Shares Program was able to help and we'll highlight them and we'll highlight their stories. And uh, I look forward to going over a review of that because uh, I often forget about this program running in the background. Hello, 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 how are you? How are you? Uh, I often forget about the, um, you know, the impact of that program, and I look forward to sharing all of those stories coming to you soon. So that's the Esther Shares program. Share the love. Um, you can read all about it if you subscribe to the newsletter, which I hope you have all done at this point. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Um, stay up to date with all of the events and, of course, the Esther Share, Share the Love campaign. Um, that will be a newsletter topic that will go out and you will be the first to hear all about it. Um, let's head on into the barn and get out of this nippy cold. Here we go. Well, maybe I should show these folks. Oh, hello. Oh, we can't, we have to stop and say hello to BJ and Escalade. And there's Diablo way in the back. Okay. Heading on inside, we're gonna go see what beautiful Gloria is up to. Gloria is a very young goat, and Gloria is quite the jumper. And Gloria is able to jump over any of the fences that we currently have in yeah. place. So we have to make sure uh, that Gloria uh, gets to know the place a little bit before she starts jumping fence lines. I hope she's not going to jump fence lines um, when she gets out and sees that she's got lots of friends. But, um, you know, who knows? We're keeping Gloria closed up in the barn right now, getting Gloria to know all of us. Um, and we'll start to inch Gloria closer and closer and closer to living up there in the goat and sheep barn. So let's head on in and see what Gloria's up to. Hello, it's me. Hello, it's me. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Hello. Oh, good boy. Sean and Doug. Hello. They say, don't talk to me. Oh. Okay. Well, let's let's see what, what Gloria is up to. I just got called down the hallway by a few of the pig residents who can hear my voice and they know that it's Monday's barnside chat um, but uh, let's let's see oh I just heard Gloria's voice for the first time let me see I'll shut the music off and see if we can hear it again she uh, let's see Oh, hello, baby. 
Hello, baby. Hello, Gloria. My goodness. My goodness, it's so good to see you. What are you doing in here? Doing your goat thing? So you can see we have some uh, planks set up there for Gloria to play on. And we have no, no jumping, no jumping, not during, no jumping, no lady, hello. So Gloria is quite small. Hello, 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 look at you, you're so pretty. Uh, Gloria, I, I'm not sure of Gloria's breed. No backing up. When Gloria backs up, it means she's going to try to launch over this gate, and uh, we don't want that. So, uh, hello. Hello. Oh. You are going to have the best life here, lady. Yes, you are going to get to do all your goat things. I can't wait for Angela to meet Gloria, because... I think he's going to be quite smitten with Gloria. I thought Gloria was going to be up in that window, to be honest with you. Uh, that window. That's where Gloria spends a lot of their time right now. But can you blame her? It, it looks out to... Uh, that looks out to Bunnytown and the feed area for uh, the, the big general population. Piggies. Okay, Gloria. We'll see you a little later. There we go. All right, let's head on down the hallway and see what everybody's up to. Oh, there's Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Oh, he says, look what I can do. No, we're not going to look at you do that. No. No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's head on down the hallway. Hi, Jen. Hi. I have the meds box for the afternoon. I have to... I have... I, I have it. <laughs> I was going to ask. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we got Donna and Florence in stall number one here. And Donna, um, of course, is our senior duck. There we are. She's not facing us right now. She's in that crate. And we've got Florence here who is being a very good friend right now for Donna. You can see they've got all sorts of different food to choose from. Fresh water, a splash pad, areas for privacy, night crates, and a very nice warm heater safely installed up overhead. There it is. It's an awesome stall for these two. Now Donna is in this stall on, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to float you false hope um, about Donna, but Donna is in here on very close watch right now. Um, and we brought Florence in to be a friend for Donna. And Florence um, is, um, she, she had an eye removed a couple months ago, as you remember. And so the flock that Florence was with, they were picking on her and so uh, we thought that this would be a good um, friendship for these two because the folks that were um, in Donna's coop were also starting to pick on her. So, uh, yeah, um, we've moved them both here for their own comfort and they're getting lots of one-on-one -on -one care with the whole caregiving team. Heading on down, heading on down. Oh, I'm going to be quiet. So we can see Captain Dan make his nest. Oh, no, it's, he's not making a nest. Eh? Big boy. Big boy. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, big boy? That's a nice nest you have. That is a really nice nest that you have. My goodness. Hello, big boy. Everybody say, all right, I'll make your favorite piggy. Hello, biggest Dan. And we've got Abigail. And we have these new fancy top boards. 
um, this new fancy top board latch system that the facilities team has come up with. And I'm sure they're going to tell you about why they had to do that here for these two stalls. So hello, Mr. Ted, who is facing the sunshine outside. Who else is in here down here? Anybody? Oh, there's Hercules and Mercy. Our, our British Saddleback Piggies. There's two of them. And if we turn the camera over here, oh my goodness, there's the rest of this British Saddleback family. Dull. Hello, Tim. I'm sorry. That's Tim with the white saddle. And then uh, the back that's closest to us, that's Peggy. And then we got Mama in the middle. And then we've got... Uh, brindle on the outside wall just right underneath of the TV all right this looks like the perfect backdrop for me to do some of the questions from today's question the rainbow bag so let's see what questions are in the rainbow bag from this week remember folks if you have a question you can put it in the comment feed below and we'll do our best to get it answered uh in priority sequence uh all the questions end up inside of the rainbow bag and, uh, here whoops let me see if i can get this right okay here we go first question oops not that here we go. Do you and Steve take care of your own health like the residents? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, Pat. Uh, um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to speak for Steve, but I'll certainly speak for myself. Uh, yeah, self-care is so important on uh, in, a, in a position where you're working with animals or you are providing daily care. So uh, it's so easy to get burnt out. Um, caregivers all around the world that work with humans on a daily basis and that also work with farmed animals or animals or in a vet office. Um, any person that gives care to somebody else on a regular basis in that capacity, uh, you know, you have to really watch out for compassion fatigue. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think I do a, a, a fair job. Um, it's important to take time every single day uh, so that you don't get burned out because um, you know there's all of this responsibility. We have such a wonderful team, but I'm not able to help if I'm burned out. So making sure that I'm taking care of myself, uh, you know, I put that I put that first. Uh, let's see what this question. Is. Whoops, not that one. Uh, how did Abigail injure her tail? So two people, Tanya and uh, Mariana. Um, so we had an accident on farm where Abigail was in the Zinpro shoot um, having some um, foot care completed. And when the shoot came down, uh, unfortunately, Abigail's tail went in an area and it was a one in a million shot of how this happened and the shoot squeezed down on top of Abigail's tail. And um, it was an unfortunate accident. Of course, we never intend to harm any of the residents here. Um, but the reality is when you work with animals every single day like this, um, that something could happen, uh, that accident. You know, um, thankfully, uh, it didn't cut her tail off, thankfully. Um, but uh, it, it did provide it did cut it quite uh, severely and thankfully it wasn't broken uh, we had it x-rayed um, but uh, she's in a state of healing right now um, hello and she just said yes I am um, but uh, because it's being wrapped um, Abigail would do fine out in general population but because it's wrapped the other pigs are like oh what's this what's this and so um, they keep grabbing, you know, they, they could potentially re-injure it. So uh, to make sure that that never happens again, what happened to Abigail's tail, um, facilities maintenance is putting a guard in an area that we didn't think needed a guard. Um, but uh, this machine, um, you know, this, this piece of equipment that we're using was dev uh, designed for commercial pigs. And commercial pigs will... Um, they don't have tails and so Abigail has a long tail and um, you know so uh, it was something that we didn't consider with this piece of equipment but 
um, after reviewing the video, because we have video in the barn, we were able to see exactly what happened and where it went wrong. And so we can make sure that that never happens again. So great question. Uh, will the ending of the Amazon Smiles program affect Heaps? Well, yeah, uh, the, the, the reality is, is yeah, it, it is going to affect Heaps. Um, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, we'll have to find other streams of revenue and other ways to involve our, uh, enormous amount of supporters, uh, give them different ways to give back to the sanctuary. Um, and, uh, we'll put out some of those ideas, but yeah, the Amazon smile program is sadly ending. Uh, good question. Gloria the goat, what's her story? Okay, yeah, covered Gloria the goat. Hello, Michelle. Uh, Gloria was running around a neighborhood where she should not have been. They looked around, they asked everybody if the goat belonged to anybody. She did not. And Gloria ran around the neighborhood for several months on her own um, in, in wooded area, in a farmland area. And uh, we were communicating with this individual who was caring for Gloria, uh, offering Gloria water and trying to befriend Gloria um, so that they could get a collar around Gloria and capture her. So this kind individual in Cambridge, uh, you know who you are. Um, thank you for befriending Gloria and getting Gloria to trust you. And um, thank you for making sure that she ends up at uh, ended up at a place like this. It's uh, kudos to you. Thank you so much. Um, that's Gloria's story. Uh, what else have we got here? Are Cornelius and Fernandez uh, Ferdinand friends? Well, no, not exactly. Not yet. They have not met. And there was another question: Why is Joseph in Bunnytown and not? with not with Jerry and Jesus. Well, they had a falling out and they really started to pick on each other. It was uh, too many peacocks for one coop. And um, being a sanctuary, we have to be ready to adjust and provide the residents exactly what they need. So sometimes it's needed to change flocks, change herds, change scenarios, change barns, change, 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 change. Um, nothing is definite. So that's why uh, they are out there. Oh, there's another question. Why is Joseph the Peacock separated from Jerry and uh, G uh, uh, Joseph? Uh, hi, Derek. How old are BJ and Escalade? Robin, BJ uh, Escalade's 13 years old. Thir between 13 and 14 years old. Hi, big boy. Hi. How are you? He just come running over. Hello. Yes, we have a resident healthcare um, database at our fingertips that we're able to check up on all of the residents and for each one of their um, healthcare assessments, all of that information goes into their file. Um, we have one of the best individualized care programs on the planet for farmed animals. Uh, these residents are treated just like humans at a long-term care facility. They have files, they have doctors, they have appointments, they have uh, diet requirements, specific diet requirements, they have enrichment needs. And of course they need your support. And um, because of your support, we're able to provide that. We, you know, we're believing in the same things. You're here watching us care for farmed animals. Um, and what you believe in is, you know, that, that Heaps is able to inflict some social change. And we're so pleased to have, have you, you know, supporting us and uh, helping us live our dreams, which is to provide a home for farmed animals in need. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, more questions. Let's see if I got one more question here. Let's see. Dan left. Okay, this is from Maggie, and Maggie says, Okay, so I watch how carefully and securely you close all the gates, locks, etc. Have you ever had a surprise visit from a resident near the house or at your porch? Uh, absolutely. I don't think there's... Well, in the beginning, when we first started, there were a lot of residents in our backyard. Uh, all of the cows ended up in the backyard uh, several times. Um, and uh, that was three big bovine friends, Pouty, Denver, and Jasmine. Oh, hello, hello. Who's that? Who's that? Pumpkin? Hi, baby. I thought that was your voice. Hey, y'all. Uh, and we definitely had pigs in the backyard. 
uh, Len and Dan used to climb under the fence lines. They figured out how to get under the fence lines and they would literally climb on their elbows, get under the fence and then come to the back door of the main farmhouse and chew at the door and whine and complain and tell me they're not getting fed enough. Um, so once we figured out that they were climbing under the fence, we had uh, we learned a serious lesson about fence stretching and the need for all of your fence lines to be very, very tight. Oh, okay. Um, I, I blabbed the whole time. We're at a half an hour here. How are you going to know what the weather is at the sanctuary? Well, we're going to do it very quickly. The weather at the sanctuary is cold. It feels like minus eight right now and um which is not terrible but check this trend out look at uh, not that way look at look at friday whoops there we are minus 28 my goodness that is definitely going to be a test on all of the systems in place at the farm minus 28 that is really really <laughs> cold out. I can't believe we're going down to minus 28. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about. I took questions and I blabbed the whole time here, so I'm sorry about going over time here. Kevin has some amazing updates on the facilities maintenance building that's going up. Uh, there's been some wonderful photography captured around the farm this week. This photo here of Ted, Abigail, and Ferdinand um, who I have no idea what they're doing, but it sure is a beautiful photo. I just absolutely love that photo. We also have Captain Dan captured on the security cameras running around with his bowls. Oh, look at this little kitty. I have no idea who that is. Yes, of course. She lives here. She lives upstairs. There's a few cats that live here, but this photo... I, I just, oh, no, not there. This photo, I just love that she's got her hand raised up there. So beautiful. There are deer that cross on the property here every single day now. It's great to see um, this this herd of deer. There's six, six deer that cross the bridge um, every single day. Check out this photo. We had a lot of sunshine this week. This wonderful sunset. And this is, of course, Abraham and Luann. All right, friends, I hope you had a good time today. I had an awesome time tuning in and chatting with you and letting you know all about the sanctuary and uh, the happenings around the farm, what has been happening. But please don't forget about the Esther Shares Medical Fund. Share the love. Help us raise 20 grand for the Esther Shares Medical Fund. That starts on February 1st. Be sure to sign up to the newsletter. Go to happilyeveresther.ca and click on Stay Informed. <sighs> All right, friends, that's it. Uh, I hope you had an awesome day. I hope you have got good plans for today. Don't forget to smile lots. Don't forget to laugh. My name is Derek. We'll see you next week on Barnside Chat. Bye-bye, everybody. All we need is a place to be and a few good friends for some company. If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave. We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked. If you drop on by, you don't have to knock. We're happy to share whatever we've got.